Hello, it's Mr. Random Review Dude again, and I'm back well, with a new mod review. Um, so, today I'm doing Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start off with bedside drawer, cabinet, whatever. And to craft this, you need wood all around, and then two chests in the middle. Now we have got table where you can put food on top and to craft this it's just a shape in a T. And now it's the chair, you can sit on it. Oh, creeper. Hello creeper. Um and to get off your chair you just click shift. Okay. Um now we have and to make a chair, I think it's in this chest. It's just a shape like this, yeah. Very simple. Now we are moving on to cabinet. And if you want to make kitchen, you can use it. To make this, you make a chest and then put a chest in the middle. Sorry about my lighting, it's just very bad in this room. Okay. And now we have the coffee table to make this. It's oak wood, like make a chair, but don't add the wood up here. Now we have the fridge, which you can store stuff in to keep your food cool. And we have the freezer, which freezes your food, which is helpful. And to craft this, you need um, iron blocks round. Um, a crafting table in the middle and then a furnace underneath. Now we have got the sofa. It acts like a chair but it's meant to be comfier. And to make this you need wool like this. You can use white wool, red wool, green wool and black wool. Um, there's four different colours. I am put two in there and it makes the sofa. Now we have got the blinds, which doesn't help my lighting. So, um, it works just like this. And yeah, to make blinds, it's just sticks all in the crafting table. That's quite cheap. Now we have got curtains. Um, and they work like blinds, but they're curtains. To make these, you need red wool rubble and then two golden ingots. Now we have the bedside lamp. Now you need a bedside cabinet so I'm just going to take bedside cabinet and some glass and one of these. Now to make this work you get your glass, you put your lamp on top, you destroy it and then you go like this and it can turn on and off in the night. And that's how you make it work. Um, oh, and just, and this is how you make it. Obsidian, glowstone, and then wool around. Like that. Now we come on to cobblestone chair, table, and coffee table. They're the exact same crafting recipes as the, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? The wooden ones, it's just made out of cobblestone. Now we come over to the oven. Um, you can cook nine things at a time and then it'll cook you there so it's really handy if you want to melt iron. So if I get iron in my hand and get some golden iron, what you have to do is stick it in the oven. Oh, oh it's food. Duh. Okay, I've got some raw pork if I stick it in the oven just like that in random places I'll cook all of them I'll check back on that later so let me just get rid of all my items okay to make the oven you need iron blocks around and then a furnace in the middle now we're on the oven overheater if your oven overheats you paste it on top sort of thing because it can catch fire and it just shuts down the oven. 
um, which is really handy. To make this you need more glowstone and iron like this. Now we're on to the hedge. It's the exact same make as the sofa but with leaves and um, you can use any leaves but I just chose to put leaves. Now we have the bird bath thing. To make this you need smooth stone in the shape of a table. Smooth stone or stone. Not cobblestone, stone. Now we have the little pathway, which I think looks pretty really nice. And to make this, it's just two cobblestone like this. Now onto the fence. To make the fence, you need a fence, of course, and bone meal, and it'll make this fence. Gate, gate. It'll make a gate. Now um, onto the electric fence or gate or whatever. To make this you need um hang on. This is how powerful it is. I'm very sorry if you hear the rattling in the background, it's just someone's in here doing something, so to this is how powerful it is. Two shots. Look you can spoil. It can save you from your private stuff. If you can hear it, it's going <laughs> So you can just enjoy red and white smoke. Oh, you, you survived. Hang on. I'm getting a diamond sword because some of them decided they wanted to survive. Die. Oh, baby one, I don't care. Okay, I'm so sorry. To make this, you need iron around. White fence and then redstone torch. White fence is that. This electric fence, obviously. Now we have the tap. You make it with stone, around like this, just like that, and then an iron ingot on top. Um, I don't know how to work it because, yeah, that's weird. Now we have come to the mailbox. Looks like I've got a package of mail. So you can post stuff through their box, you know. Quite easy and nice, isn't it? Okay, um, yeah, it's not working. Uh, I don't know actually how to get these things working, but... We have, um... So that's that. To make the, um, thingy, the, um, what do you call it? I can't think of the name. Mailbox. You need wood like this and then a book on top. To make um, an envelope, it's just two paper like this. To make a package, it's paper like this, how you make a sofa. So simple for us. Now we come to the TV. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's pretty. Ooh. Young cat, young cat, young cat. And that. Wow. Um, okay, to make this amazing TV, you need wood like this around glass pane and redstone, which is quite easy to make. Now we come to the computer, which is Mind Bay, and you could buy stuff. Now this is how Mind Bay works. If I get um, I don't know, an emerald. Let's just quickly get an emerald. Get a stack of emeralds. And I want to get something, but I don't have the right materials, I have emerald. So if I want a sofa, if I stick five in, I get five curtains, which is quite useful, I guess. Now, it's time for the worst bit. It's not really the worst bit, but it's not the most fun bit. I'll tell you that. So... Now uh, we come to a flint and steel. Okay, I've got flint and steel in my house. I'm sorry, just looking up, it's just my camera. And now we come to the fire alarm, which works if you set something to fire. That's my fire alarm going off, so I'll just turn it off and turn my fire alarm on. So it's usually helpful if your friend to try um, and uh, be a dark on you, yeah. 
to make this you need iron ingots here, redstone here and then a note block here. Now we come on to the last few bits. We've got the printer, um, which I have no idea how to work, so if you know how to work it, can you put it in the comments? Um, and this is how you make it. Iron blocks here, paper here, redstone here, and then stone, 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 stone. It's quite cheap. Now we come to the doorbell. It works like an actual doorbell, which I think is pretty cool. Note block and a button, and you've got your doorbell. Now we come to stereo. It plays all your things on um, a jukebox, but only you don't need CDs for it, and you need note block, jukebox, note block, and iron ingot to make this. I don't want it playing anymore. That was not meant to happen. Now we come to a final bit in the mod, which is the lamp, like the ceiling light. You need obsidian, stone, and glowstone to make this. It just flickers on, off, on, off, on, off. So I hope you have enjoyed this mod review. Now you have seen this review, and um, I can start doing my next review, which is the hats mod. Um, I've got lots more mods. Um, got pixel more mod as you can see I've got level 100 Charmander Charmander and look he, fly, he flies and look, there's my house um, now I'm going to give you a little sneak preview of what I'm doing for the hats mod that's a sneak preview um, thank you guys for watching um, I want to ask you a question, and if you get it right, this will go in the, la the, in the love garden. Um, so, your question is, how, um, no, what could be your question, what could be your question, question, what could be your question, um, you have to try and guess what I'm making here, yeah? And if you get it correct, well, you're in my love garden. Good luck and try and guess. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching.